Hey, what's up, guys? Russell Monter, Curb Appeal. I'm doing this follow-up video. This is a two-year follow-up. Um, the last video that I did was a year ago, and the video is titled uh, Knowing Your Pressure Washing Chemicals. Uh, don't just sell a job, sell a service. So if you go back and you watch that video, that is one year ago this month, I believe. And uh, it'll kind of give you some background information. But I'm going to flip the camera around here. For those of you who have watched the other video, this is just a two-year follow-up from that. All right, so what we're looking at is the back of my shed once again. Last year I did the uh, the control test with the 12.5% and then uh, the big box store product. So let me back up here just a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> these slats right here that are solid green, uh, this was big box store product that was cleaned according to the manufacturer's instructions on the back of the bottle cleaned and rinsed. Um, this was an experiment to use the same exact product where it was cleaned but not rinsed. And then the last three slats uh, are still the control which was 12.5% sodium hypochlorite with my normal surfactants that I use on all my house washes. Um, as you notice the 12.5% with the exception of where the rain is splashed up against that bottom runner, 12.5% um, Still no mold growth, uh, and this was done in central Arkansas, so that's actually pretty impressive to have two years now, and there is no, uh, there's nothing there. Whereas if you look right here above where the salt residue and soap scums are still remaining, you can kind of see the green mold coming back. All right, you see that green haze. And then way down here, there's no question about it. This is ready for another wash. <clears throat> All right. So for those of you who've watched the other video, um, you've already got the backstory on this. This is just a two-year follow-up to show you um, if you're using the right chemicals and you're doing it the right methods, this stuff will last quite a long time, and you can sell this to your customers. Um, however, if they're you know, spending $9 a gallon on some stuff from you know, a big orange or blue store, then uh, they may have to do it more often. So take it easy, comment below, subscribe, more videos to come.